on the coronavirus outbreak. Thank you once again for joining us tonight. I'm Anthony Austin joining you live from my home. As you can see, my co-anchor Heather Crawford is also live from her home tonight. We're going to get you updated with the very latest numbers on the coronavirus at, in our area at this time. Heather. Well, Anthony, tonight in the U.S., there are now more than 529,000 cases of the coronavirus to date. The death toll in America has surpassed 20,000, overtaking Italy for the highest death toll in the world. More than 31,000 people, though, we do want to point out, have recovered from COVID-19 in the United States. In Florida, there are about 19,000 confirmed cases with 446 deaths being reported, more than 175,000 tests conducted, and only 10% of those were positive. Just over 2,600 people have been hospitalized. In Georgia, there are about 12,200 confirmed cases with 432 deaths. More than 2,400 people there have been hospitalized. Anthony? Here on our first coast and surrounding counties, here's a county by county breakdown tonight. Duval now has 639 cases and two new deaths for a total of 13. Clay has gone up to 161 cases and the death toll remains at eight. St. John's has 170 cases and two deaths and in Nassau County remains at 33 cases and no deaths. Alachua County has 174 cases with zero deaths. Columbia has 25 cases, once again, no deaths. And taking a look in southeast Georgia tonight, Ware County has the most with 50 cases and reporting four deaths. Glenn County has 33 cases and has had no deaths. And Pierce County has 45 cases with two deaths. And Camden County has 20 cases tonight and no deaths have been reported there. And we know it can feel like every 15 minutes there's something new to worry about, but we don't want you to worry at all. We're tracking updates minute by minute on our live blog at firstcoastnews.com. You can track the developments as they happen and see our coronavirus coverage step by step along with breaking updates and a real-time tally of the cases in the counties across our area. Heather.